I wrote a book, Let Me Explain. In June, I got married. What? Yep, did the damn thing, got the damn ring. We went on our honeymoon to Disney World, which neither of us had ever been. Amazing vacation, highly recommend it. When we got back from Florida and we tried to get back to reality, it was weird. We didn't know how to get back to normal. You see, we were engaged for an entire year, which meant we spent an entire year planning our wedding. With that planning, there was always something to do. Meeting with someone, going somewhere, buying something. It occupied our entire life outside of work. So when we finally got back from our honeymoon and all of that wasn't waiting for us when we got home, we felt like we were missing something. We felt like we were constantly forgetting to do something. And that feeling became a catalyst for change. I was inspired by our honeymoon. We had such an amazing time, I started thinking why anyone goes on vacation to get away from that day-to-day. But then I started thinking, why does the day-to-day have to suck so much? Why can't I cultivate a life that's so happy and fulfilling that I don't ever have to go on vacation? There are definitely people out there who have done it, so why can't I? So I began reading books. I actually read about six books right after our honeymoon. I've never done that ever read about six books in in about a week actually and it really started changing my perspective on things every book about success talks about finding what you're really passionate about and it got the wheels turned i started thinking about everything that i've done to try and get into the entertainment industry my band our music YouTube channels that I've done. And I started thinking about what are the things that I'm most proud of when I talk about those things. Like when I write a song, either by myself or with my band. I've always believed the most important part to be the lyrics. Anyone can put together a few chords and strum out a nice tune, but to truly capture emotion through lyrics, that's artistry to me. Then it hit me. Words. It came like a flash. I have a love affair with words. Why do you think I love lyrics so much? Why do I love writing and editing videos for YouTube? Why do I write these long-winded Facebook statuses that I'm the only one who ever reads? Simply put, words. Then I asked myself, what do you do with that? What do you do with words? as a passion. So I decided to write a book. Actually, I've decided to write several books, but I'm only going to focus on one at a time. But the first draft of this book is done. The book is actually about my wife and I. The first half is about our life from the time we met to the time we got married this past June. And the second half is relationship advice based on our experiences as a couple. Now, I'm not claiming to be a relationship expert or anything like that, but a lot of people fail to realize that we've been together for over 12 years now. As a matter of fact, we got married on our 12-year anniversary. By all accounts, we've been together longer than most marriages last. I also feel that we as a species have a responsibility to share the knowledge that we've gained with each other so that others may learn and grow as well. I feel like sharing stories like this let other people know that if you're struggling, you're not the only one. With that being said, I'm not here to brag. That's not what this video is about. I love doing stuff like this. I feel like when I take the time to update people on my life, it gives you the opportunity to become a part of that. And I want you to be a part of what I'm doing. All along the process of getting this book published, I am going to keep you guys updated. I'm also going to try some new things on this channel. I'd love to have some more involvement from you guys as well. I have a few projects in mind, but I'll keep you guys in suspense for now. I do want to say thank you to anyone who clicked on this and decided to stick through and watch it to the end or anyone who has supported any of the many projects that I've been a part of in the past few years. I know I haven't exactly blown up or gone viral, but that's not really the point of what I'm doing. So I invite you to stay tuned. Things are about to get interesting.